In this video we're going to learn about transformations of graphs. And transformations of graphs is something you can apply to the nice types of functions I taught you about earlier, like general functions like y squared absolute value of x and things like that. You apply transformations of them and you can sketch these sorts of graphs that I've written down here. So these are our rules up here and so these ones are shifts. This shifts C units up. This one here shifts C units right. This one here has a stretch vertically by a factor of C. This one here has a compress horizontally by a factor of C. This reflects about the x-axis and this reflects about the y-axis. So those are our transformation rules. Now I might have to rub these off so you might want to write them down so you can remember them. I'll pause the video and have a look. So I'm going to rub them off now, write them down if you need to. Okay, let us graph for general functions that we need. Up at the top here. These are just sketches, that's y equals x squared. Let me do the other two for Those are our functions that we're going to be working with. We're going to apply the transformations to these functions. So, let's have a look at our first example here. We've got x squared plus 3. Now, we can remember that this one here was a shift up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this graph up 3 units. So, there we go, there's one new graph. Pretty easy. Next one. If you remember, this was a reflect about the x-axis, so you can think of this as your mirror. And reflect it down here. So your graph of y equals minus x squared will look like this. Next one is pretty tough actually and you cannot really see what's happening very well on this graph but let me just Let's say that this is y equals x squared. I'll sketch them both on here. And it's stretching vertically. So what's happening is it's getting getting taller. So it's gonna look something like that. That's gonna be a graph of Let's just let that do. If you had points, you would stretch them all by a factor by multiplying them all by this factor C here. So you'd multiply your points by 3, but the origin's 0, 0. So when you multiply that, it stays as 0, 0. Let us rub some of these out now so I've got room for. 
the next examples. This one's a cubic here. Y equals X plus 2 all cubed. No. It's better in fact I'd form because we can see what's going on easier. So if it was all written out long, you would try and factor this expression first. So what it said was, we shifted C units to the right. And this 2 here is going to be with C, so we're going to shift this graph 2 units along. And there we go. That would be a graph. Now, this next one here, we're working with the absolute value of x. And this one, yeah, requires two transformations. So I'm going to draw two graphs. And Remember this one here, inside, shifts the graph right, say unit, so I'm going to shift it along, and that's going to be y equals the absolute value of x plus 3, and this is minus 2, and I haven't talked about this, but because plus shifts it up if it's a minus something we're going to shift the graph down so we're going to leave it at 3 here so let us mark off 3 and we're going to have minus 2 somewhere down here so we're going to have something like this we've shifted it down 2 units Shift the disk graph down here to units because that was y equals the absolute value of x plus 3 and then we get the graph we want. Yeah, let's have a look at the next example. Now, this example here will complete the square. Now, you should know how you complete the square so I'm just going to write this expression and complete in the square form it's going to be x plus 5 halves squared minus 1 quarter Now we can clearly see what we're doing. These might be nasty numbers, but no one really cares about that. This here means we shift to the left, to the right, sorry. Five halves. So we've got five halves somewhere here. And then we shift down somewhere minus four quarters. So it looks something like that and this is going to be obviously be your point five halves minus four quarters last example I'm going to reflect it about the x axis, the y axis, so it's going to look like that. And those are all the examples done. So that's how we transform graphs, it's pretty easy.